Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the Vibe Tribe family. Today is installment seven of my Road to Recovery. If you're new to my channel, I will explain a little bit what that is when we get into the video. Today I'm just gonna chat, 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 make up words, chat a little bit about how my week has been, some things that are going on, maybe update some people if you've missed out on some videos. So let's just get on into it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you join the Vibe Tribe family by hitting that little red subscribe button. If you like today's video, make sure you give a thumbs up as it does let me know I'm on the right track for creating content for you. If you don't like it, that's okay. Give a big old thumbs down. Don't bother me none. Thanks for the watch time. Thanks for helping me too. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as it will let you know when my squirrely videos upload. Let's get to chat. Hey, hey everyone. How's it going? How was your day so far? Hopefully it's a fantabulous one. Sherry here, AKA Diamond Art Addiction. And welcome to our seventh installment of Road to Recovery. If you are new to my channel, new to the Vibe Tribe family, and wondering like, what the heck is this chick doing? I thought this was diamond painting. Seven weeks ago, I decided that I was going to kind of do what I call part two to my healing journey. I started a healing journey 10 years ago in 2009, last year marked 10 years. And I had kind of fallen off the wagon a little bit. I am a recovering crystal meth addict and kind of fell off the wagon a little bit. And I started taking my pain medication more than I should have. I had admitted to it. I had spoken with my doctor, you know, and that's the thing when you've kind of battled addiction for a good majority of your life, you start to recognize the signs. So what I decided to start doing was journaling, so to speak, my journey, you know, and this is where I'm not just going to sit here and go blah about drugs and blah about sad and blah. No, mm -mm. This is where I'll talk about my week, whether it's been a good week, a bad week. I may go over things like, you know, maybe something I announced during the week, like we did this week, and where I just kind of ramble. First, I will say Happy Easter to all of my Christian and Catholic friends. I celebrate Ostera, which is on March 20th. I need a sippy sippy. Yes, I am drinking Orange Crush. <laughs> I'm actually trying to stay away from colas as I get horrid, horrid heartburn, which means a little, little less on the coffee too, which is like a sad, sad day. But anyway, overall, I don't know, this week, it has been an amazing week, like mentally, emotionally. I'm very grounded. I feel very even, but yet physically, I'm tired. Is anybody else feeling that where you're tired? Like I could literally, like I could literally close my eyes right now and probably be out for, well, for as long as my back would allow it. Like I way, I have been way oversleeping lately and I'm like, is this something new? Is anybody else doing this? Is it because of what's going on? I mean, I've literally been practicing for three years for this, this whole socialization and avoid people at all costs is nothing new to me. But yeah, I just seem extra, extra tired. Like I woke up at like noon. Normally I like to be up about 9, 930. And then you feel like your day is just gone. Gone with the wind. And it's just, and it's, you know, and I actually prefer being a night owl. I really, truly do. But ever seen since I did that last all nighter, I just can't seem to get caught up from it. So I think I'm going to try and avoid, like sometimes I will purposely do an all nighter just because I want to get some diamond painting done, even though I didn't do any diamond painting that night. But hey, that's besides the point. So earlier in this week, actually before I start, 
this is not going to be a long video. This is just kind of a quick reminder of things I talked about this week. I've had a great week. I ain't got nothing to complain about. Yes, there is some stuff going on within my family, but not me personally, and it's not my place to talk about. That might have me a little bit stressed out, but this too shall pass, right? And I don't want to talk about it because I'm going to start crying and I don't want to cry. So earlier this week, I will actually link up in the cards myself and Melissa B from Melissa B Craft With Me are hosting a community event at, called Get Your Big On. And this is where I'm going to try and address some of the questions that have been brought to me. This is where I'm kind of going to kind of go over the event a little bit more. And then I'm going to give you guys the big announcement. Oh, so excited. I'm just going to check the time. I need another sip of sip. So with this Get Your Big On event, we had started, me and Melissa started talking about this a while ago when I got the Enchanted Forest and Miss Connie Miller decided she was going to challenge me to do the Enchanted Forest. Melissa reached out to me, said she had it, would I want to do a collab? And then we kind of got to talk and I'm like, you know what, I bet you we're not the only people that have like these massive paintings that we need to work on. So why not do it as a community event? We can all support each other. So we thought that we would, sorry, I was gonna make notes. We thought we would do it for winter when everybody is stuck at home, yada, yada, so on and so forth. Well, now that we're, how do I put it? We're in some kind of madness, is how I'll put it, where we're kind of all stuck at home, self-isolation. And we both thought, well, right now would be a excellent time to get this event going. You know, everyone's stuck at home, let's come together as a community. So, so many of you have shown interest and from both my list, Melissa and myself, Thank you. You know, me being the brain that I am is like, oh, no one's going to be interested or, you know, th 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 that's the old way of thinking. You guys have sh shown so much interest. Thank you so much. The event will start April 22nd. That's when I am going to, and I think Melissa as well, we're going to do like the kickoff video, talk a little bit more about the prizes because there are multiple giveaways. Now let's chat about that because I know a lot of people, a lot of people can't afford to go out and buy a jumbo painting like the 100 or whatever, whatnot. Anybody can participate in this event. Who are we to sit there and say, well, no, that's not big enough. I mean, for all we know, someone could have disabilities or limitations. Anybody can participate with a large painting in this event. Anybody will be included, like we're gonna have giveaways halfway through the event. You know, you never know when we're gonna throw something in. Everybody will be included for that. Now, here's the kicker. For the grand prizes, one being a Treasure Studios Art diamond painting and the other one is going to be a Diamond Art Club gift card. You have, your painting has to be a minimum of 90 centimeters on one side. You know, neither of us are trying to be rude or come across as harsh or mean, but that was the point to the event was for us to all work on jumbo size paintings together. I said, that is the only time anything smaller than 90 centimeters won't qualify. We are going to have weekly update videos where people will send me photos of their progress 
just like Mrs. Coffee did in her sassy craft along. I spoke with her saying like, you know, I really like that you did that. I'm going to do it for this idea. I will give credit where credit is due. I do believe that, you know, everybody always goes, you're happy. And you know what? That's the highest form of a compliment. Really? When you think about it, man, am I thirsty? I think I need a great big glass of ice water. Anyway, squirrel. You know, when people raise stinks about people copying, well, don't look at it as copying. Look at it as, oh, that's my crock pot. I'm like, something is simmering over there. That's a crock pot. Sorry, squirrel. They can pull pork for supper. You know, to me, there's copying where somebody does something that you've done and they don't give credit. I don't care if anybody does something that I do. Like I'm, if you have done Battle of the Waxes, please let me know so I can drop you down in the playlist so people can find your video. I don't mind if people do something that I do, but just say, you know, hey, Sherry from Diamond Art Addiction, thanks for the inspiration. You know, it's just giving credit where credit's due. It is the respectful thing, and that's why I reached out and told her I was going to do this. You know, so then that way people can't say, oh, look, she's got me. You know, even though this is a crafting community, people still like to do that. So, you know, it doesn't matter what size painting you're working on, your photo will still get into the video. Doesn't matter what painting you're working on, you will still have a chance for the giveaways that we do during the event. The only time it matters is when we go to do the grand prizes. That's it. We thought that this would be a fun, positive way to bring our community get together during these times when things are just kind of up in the air. You know, it's tough. Like, it really is. It's, I know how it's affecting me and I know how it's affecting my family. I'm not going to sit there and make assumptions on how it's affecting everybody else. I can only know for myself. Yes, I'm used to staying in my house. Do I prefer that? Yes. Why? Because I don't people very well. I cannot be in big, big crowds of people. My skin will just start to crawl. And it's just the energy and nine out of 10 times people are asshats. So instead of putting myself in a situation where I'm gonna end up irritated, annoyed, pissed off, possibly touched, I mean, I mean, mm -mm. It's like, this is my bubble. Like I like this six feet rule because that's perfect. Like my bubble your bubble. I can even ask Mr. Addiction. <laughs> and what it is, is like when people touch me, it's like sending a jolt through my body. Like, yes, there is like when people rub their feet on carpet and they go, Z -Z -Z. there's that. But the kind of jolt I'm talking about is not like that. It's more a, of a, like of a spiritual, emotional type jolt so I just don't like to be touched it's something that I'm working on and definitely something that I will touch base in down the road in a future road to recovery time out Thursday right now we are doing the which again I will put up in the cards that I just did for time out Thursday I have a I have a notebook here and sorry squirrel What's with the notebook is if I'm doing a live or if I'm filming, I have a notebook close by. So if I'm meant to put something up in the cards or if I'm meant to put something down in the description, I just kind of make notes so I don't forget anything. This is a part of, you know, the new me trying to get organized. And right now my channel and the Vibe Tribe, I'm focusing all my energy, my time into just that. And along with Patreon. Now that's another announcement that I briefly talked about the other night as well. Unfortunately, Patreon has to go back another month. I was hoping in a week that we could get the ball rolling, but due to everything that's going on, no. 
I have some things, but not everything. And I don't want to go into this half-assed. I'm taking it very seriously. I want to make sure that I have enough stuff. Like, I'm not sitting there tooting my horn saying, oh, all these people are, no. I want to make sure I have at least enough for three, four months worth of mail outs. You know, at least a couple months. We know how things coming from China on a boat can be. So I think it's best to be safe, take it back a month. Hopefully the world will have calmed down a little bit more by then. So there was that announcement. I don't need to touch base on the moderators. Overall, I'm doing really good. I'm worried about my kid, but as parents, that's what we do, right? It doesn't matter how old our children get. We worry, especially when there's a little one involved. I have not seen my parents. My, I've seen my one son, but I haven't seen my parents, my daughter, my grandson, and my youngest son since the 9th of March, which was the day after my birthday. Hopefully, hopefully, this will start to settle down just So the big news, the big announcement that I am so, so, so excited for. This was so strange yesterday, you guys. So me and Mr. Addiction were sitting in the garage. I just have to keep an eye on the time. Okay. Me and Mr. Addiction were sitting down in the garage and we were kind of talking about moving like we both just want to move. We kind of just want to get to our forever home. I want my crafting space to be settled. And this is a fresh start. But with everything going on in the world, it's really hard. It's really hard to sell a home. You know, like we already have our home picked out. They've accepted our offer, so on and so forth. So me and Mr. Addiction were talking, I'm like, you know what? I said, honey, I said, if I know your family the way that I do, and they both know, like everybody knows how much we love this house, it'll happen. It'll happen. Next thing you know, Mr. Addiction's phone's ringing and it's his mother's ringtone. I was like, that's creepy. Okay, and so she's there. That's happened numerous times. Just wait. So we're talking and I'm like, were your ears ringing? And she's like, well, no, we're yours. She's like, why? And I'm like, because we were just talking about you. Oh, I said, yeah. And you know, about the house in Innisfil. Well, that's why I'm calling. And I'm all right away on my face just went, oh no, someone else bought it. Someone else wants it. She's like, no, 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 no. We just, it's been three months and we need you guys to sign because we got to redo the agreement. So we do DocuSign, da, 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 done. You know, and I'm like, with the way things are right now, I don't know if, especially with confirmed cases in the town that we live in, if this is going to sell. And she says, don't worry. And I'm like, what do you mean? Don't worry. You know, I'm going to worry. I want that house. You know, and Mr. Addiction's like, like, He's ready to have a full blown on panic attack. So I'm sitting there rubbing his arm and she's like, guys, don't worry. We are gonna make sure you get that house. Even if we have to mortgage, like Mr. Addiction, I have to mortgage and leave the condo sitting empty until it sells. Then we just pay off. So by the end of this summer, you won't be seeing this as a background. We will be moving. If my back would let me, I would do the full thing. Do, 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 do. We, yes, I am wearing a horror t-shirt. We got Freddy, we got Jason. I like horror movies, what can I say? Squirrel. So by the looks of it, we are gonna be starting to pack soon, going through, getting things organized. That's actually gonna be on my list for tomorrow for Makeup Monday, I'm gonna get that makeup. And then you guys see those boxes sitting right there? I have a makeup announcement. You will see this 
on my channel once. And then on a go forward, I am actually going to have a makeup group on Facebook because I do not want to plug this channel with makeup. I am going to have a group on Facebook. And then that way, that's where we can focus our makeup. You guys can ask questions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we will be moving. I'm excited for that because it's our final step. You know, me and Mr. Addiction have been together 11 years. We've had lots of ups. We've had lots of downs. And we're ready for this. You know, and this is going in the right direction. Oh, I got an itchy eyeball. Don't you hate it when that happens? Like, what's in our eye to seriously make it itch? <laughs> Besides the eyeball. My ball is on fire. All right. Anyway, now I'm just being silly. So that, like, you know, we had one bout of pretty bad news. And then yesterday, we got my laptop working. Yay one positive and then we found out by summer we'll be moving mega mega positive so that's two positives to the one negative I'll take that any day of the week no matter what is going on around me I am refusing to allow the negativity to get to me I won't I don't want anything to do with negativity I'm, life is great, life is beautiful. And that doesn't mean that life is perfect. If you wanna come at me and say, well, my life is perfect, I'm gonna go bullshit. I didn't care about my day. <laughs> so I have also, as you guys know about the miniature doll housing, that is like the miniature doll house building. That's something that Mr. Addiction and I are going to do together. I know. That's going to be interesting. I know. I know. I can hear you guys. But it's something we're going to do together, and I think it's going to be fun. Also, I have found something else that I will be bringing to my channel. It is crafting related. I am... <laughs> because this is... What I'm doing is I'm trying to find things that I can do that are going to go hand in hand with Patreon. They're also gonna go hand in hand with Purple Door Crafts. So, oh, look at my hair. It's just a bloody, I need a haircut and the shops are closed and it's all, oh, it's a squirrel. So I have found something else. If you're on Instagram, you may have an idea what I'm talking about, but if you don't, I ain't gonna tell you. You're gonna have to wait till I get the stuff and then I gotta do a little bit of practicing, but it looks so much fun. And like I said, it's going to go hand in hand with Patreon and with Purple Door Crafts. The ball is slowly rolling. Things are happening compared to where I was. Like if you haven't watched starting back, seven, like, you know, the very first one I did seven weeks ago, because I upload these every Sunday. And this is just like a non-diamond painting. I just sit in front of the camera and just bullshit. So compared to where I was seven weeks ago, wow. Doing these videos, chatting with you guys, I'm finding myself so much more grounded, even though, like I said yesterday, when I was talking with my mother-in-law, I haven't been this happy, you guys, since 2013. Yeah, I know that's a long time. You know, that was the year that my boss passed away. That was that was the year everything changed at work and went to shit. You know, I hung in for four years until I got sick. And even then, once I got sick, I was the bad guy because I left everybody in a lurch. I even got asked to work later than what my doctor wanted me to. You know, and but that's okay, that's then, this is now. I have learned, the one thing I will say is I will never work another job to make somebody else rich. Oh, hell no, mm -mm. That shit ain't gonna happen. I am going into business for myself. I'm actually going to have two businesses. 
One you guys will, well, you got one you guys know about, Purple Door Crafts, which is going to take me some time. I've got to get moved. I've got to get my craft room slash workshop up and going. So I'm going to have the candle making station. Then I'm going to have the mm, station then the drafting table and the diamond painting station then every other craft station. Like I've got it all mapped out. And then behind me, that room, I have the most perfect storage room. So it's all coming together. I always say, follow the signs. And the moment that I made my decision, I'm moving, my kids have accepted it. They're like, well, we can come visit you. And I'm like, yeah. And my parents said, well, at least now we have a place where we can get away if we want. Yes, yes, you do. Everything is coming together. I had an amazing week minus one little hiccup. I am so excited for the community event. Um, I had heard there's something else going on and that's cool. Absolutely. If you want to participate in both, please feel free. If you would rather participate in the other one, I'm okay with that. Ain't no one going to get mad. It's not a competition. It ain't nothing like that. This is just something that we're doing to just have fun and try to distract people. So that's really all I wanted to talk about. And I probably will have thrown some cards in up in the top throughout. Maybe, maybe not. I might throw in maybe, you know, in the beginning, the very first road to recovery so you guys can kind of see the difference in me. I look forward to seeing where the road's going. And I totally know I'm going in the right direction. I'm so excited. The other day, I passed a spirit message to somebody just out of the blue, like, boom, girl, if you're watching this, you know it was you. There was no way I could have known. I'm like, what do they mean by this? I'm confused. She's like, well, I'm not. And I'm like, okay, well, that's the whole point of a spirit message. It may not make sense to me, but it did to the recipient. And that's all that mattered. Helped her immensely. As you can hear, my supper is boiling in the background. So I said all I needed to say. It was just kind of a quick touch base. You know, some weeks are probably, it may not be as chipper as this week. You know, I'm in a really good mood. Things are going really great. Other road to recoveries, maybe might not be that, but that's what they are. They're to help keep me from going back to drugs. So I just talk what I need to talk about. And on that note, I am going to bid the all farewell. Yes, I look tired. I look tired as outdoors. I know I need to get a better sleeping routine. All right. Stay positive. Live blessed. And until the next time, many, many blessings. Hashtag Vibe Tribe. Bye, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.